Good. Boy, that sent me so water nice. <laughs> Hello again, I am Harold Paisiri and it's always a pleasure to welcome you to Culture Share. And for the next hour, we'll be featuring some of the best in Caribbean and African-American entertainment. And the music you just heard in the background was that of Touch from St. Vincent and the Grenadines doing The Postman. Well, just last weekend, St. Vincent and the Grenadines uh, carnival celebrations culminated in a blaze of glory. And for the coming weeks, we'll be featuring some of the live shots from the festivities, the Calypso competition, the Steel Band competition, and some of the mass bands with the costumes and such. But today, we're going to feature some of the great Vincentian artists on the program. Now, we're going to begin with a great Vincentian son. He is known more for his pangenuity, being involved in the Starlift Steel Orchestra. That pan side celebrated 25 years in existence at this year's carnival celebrations. And in fine style, they captured the panorama competition. Here is Dan Simon singing from his 1992 album. And this song was specially done. The video was specially made right here at the GBTV studios. And right after, we'll be chatting with the man himself. I still want to do me own thing 
I would rather be sick than sorry Should I take your chance with this lady? She say come and try me Rock me body Make it last a long, long time Say you love me Make me happy Rock with me I like your style Yeah So every time I bounce up with you Come and try me She say come and make me happy Come and try me Somebody come and try me You're making me real crazy Come and try me years in the pan business but you're still singing soca and this tune you have is something called 
come and try me well basically the topic just came like i said um the, the the writing i used to do a lot of writing but um, my wife now doing most of the writing which is down in washington and she came up with the idea come and try me and i sat down we sat down and the, went to the keyboards you know because we have a studio in the house and i sat down maybe something she told you when she was a young lady well <laughs> yeah, i mean <laughs> i ain't gonna tell you no, no, no but uh, <laughs> you, you know it go but um we sat down and we copied it, the, the melody came and we put it down and you know that's how we normally work and then we start writing. And basically what I wanted to do, I've been, you know, been doing a lot of work over the years but I do a lot of progressive work from the, you know, a lot of jazz and progressive work. But now I'm cutting and tailoring a lot of the music in terms of the, the soca, very simple chords and catchy melodies because I'm, you know, basically over the years I've been doing a lot of competition in St. Vincent but now I'm going to be doing a lot more soccer music. That was a lot of heat there, Dan. A lot of electricity. I didn't know you, I, I didn't know you had it in you. And like your people say, if you can't stand the heat in the kitchen, get out. <laughs> no, but we did. Um, I'm very thankful to the girls too, Colette, and thanks my sister too, to getting all those girls together. They came on short notice, and they did a very good job. Like I said before, I am, we are trying now to really do hardcore soccer. Because I've been traditionally, you know, uh, um, being labeled as doing the jazz, very progressive type of work. So I'm beginning to do soca and try to market it from that angle with nice melodies, up tempo, and jumpy music, party music. And so once again, you had the um, opportunity of working with Ace Arranger, Frankie McIntosh. Right. Um, of course, I've been working with Frankie you now for the last seven, eight years, and I'm very happy. He always does nice work, very creative individual. And also thanks to Dwight McIntosh, you know, who did very good work also when we started the project. Down in Washington, who wrote the lyrics very, and did the composing too, one and uh, come and try me. And um, we, it's just a very good team. George Victory, the designer, did background, Charmin Yates. That's the team I've been working with for the last three, four, five years. So I'm very happy with the overall production and Charles Doggerty Studio, so I'm, I'm very happy. Dan Simon on Culture Share. We'll be right back. Gabby is undoubtedly one of the leading performers in the Caribbean. He's from Barbados and he's going to sing for us chicken and rum, real Bajan style. Well, my name is Ronnie. Don't mistake me for Granny. I've got big authority in the ministry. Well, I am a fella, as healthy as ever. Still, they're blaming me for the chicken catastrophe. Chicken and rum, chicken and rum. I don't give a damn. I love my chicken and rum. Chicken and rum, chicken and rum. All the rest would scram, give me me chicken and rum. Chicken and rum, I don't give a damn. I love my chicken and rum. Chicken and rum, chicken and rum. All the rest would scram, give me me chicken and rum. Bill Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. On that farm, he had some chicks. E I E I O. Some was good, some get threat, some was alive, most was dead. Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. Ha 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 Look at me, Ronnie. I don't want no money. As long as chicken liver inside my belly. And if the chicken sick, but swell head and gall, it don't bother me at all. I eat in the feathers and all. All right, chicken and rum. Chicken and rum. I don't give a damn. I love my chicken and rum. Chicken and rum. Chicken and rum. All the rest could scram. Give me me chicken and rum. Chicken and rum, chicken and rum. 
I don't give a damn, I love my chicken and rum. We are chicken and rum, chicken and rum. All the rest could scram, give me me chicken and rum. Well, old MacDonald had a farm And that farm he had some chicks E-I-E-I-O Some was good, some get threat Some was alive, most was dead Old MacDonald had a farm People start to panic People start to panic Setting false alarm Saying I eat dead chicken from McDonald's farm Who then had no license to operate on the spot And if the chicken rot, I still pushing it in the pot Look, chicken and ram Chicken and ram I don't give a damn, I love my chicken and ram yeah, Chicken and ram Chicken and ram all the rest could scram, give me me chicken and rum. Me chicken and rum, chicken and rum. I don't give a damn, I love my chicken and rum. Me chicken and rum, chicken and rum. All the rest could scram, give me me chicken and rum. Now what the hell are you? With the E-I-E-I-O, you ready? Put your hands together, let me go like this. Watch me. Well, old MacDonald had a farm. On that farm he had some chicks Some was good, some get threat Some was alive, most was dead Old MacDonald had a farm Gabby, chicken and rum on Culture Share. Let's get some good African dance now from the La Roque Bay Dance Theatre, featuring the kids live at the Symphony Space in Manhattan.
fantabulous performance there from the La Roque Bay Dance Theatre on Culture Share featuring the kids. A great performance. So young with so much talent. We'll be right back with much more entertainment for you on Culture Share, focusing one time more on St. Vincent's Carnival. <music> When the years so come, higher and higher, so me not corner, moving to your death, if you see my sea, when you come to the top, raise the music higher, this time you see me come, when you see them pouring that praise, and they cannot control the waist, that's the cool. Oh, we don't face.
And a little touch of the way it was in St. Vincent and the Grenadines just last weekend for Carnival 1992. And coming to the end of the program, you'll be having some pure bacchanal from St. Vincent. So you keep looking now. We're going to feature the most successful artists to come out of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. You guessed right. It's Alston Beckett Cyrus. Here he is from his 1992 album doing the video production that was done right here at the GBTV studio. He says, I'm going to come. And after that, we'll be going to St. Vincent to talk to Beckett. Look.
little things for oh, their family. So I'm going to Georgetown to come. I'm going to Bridgetown to come. I'm going to Mexico to come. I'm going to Chateau to come. Sandy Bay to come. Back way to come. When I come, I come. Cause when I dead, I done. are going to come on Culture Share. Well, as you know, we were down at the uh, St. Vincent and Grenadines Carnival last weekend to capture all of the moments, and Bob Frederick accompanied the Culture Share team and took the opportunity to have a chat with Beckett in his home country. Let's go to Bob. ABC of Calypso, St. Vincent's pride and joy. Beckett, Alston Cyrus Beckett. Beckett, I'm proud to be in St. Vincent. Your carnival, your place, tell me about it. Welcome to St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Bob. Thank you. Yes. I think we're going to have one of the biggest ca carnivals of all time, barring the weather. Because, you know, we've had one show cancelled last night because of rain. And um, that's one of the sad things about our carnival. It was moved into the heart of our rainy season. And in the past, we've been very fortunate not to be, in, you know, washed out completely. But I think we have very much, the way the weather pattern has been going is, well, you know, the weather pattern we had in New York and there's... Uh, same thing all over the world, you know, when it used to be hot, it's cold, when it used to be cold, it's hot, you know, and so I think we expect, we're anticipating a lot of, you know, interruptions this season, and we keep our fingers crossed that we don't really get that happening. All right. Beckett, you being on the international scene, a uh, man has been in the forefront of things, local Calypso plus international. You kicked in, in 1975, you came in the St. Vincent competition. What was the songs, and we're going to start from 75 up to today, how you see the changes in the Calypso, Calypso arrangement and where the Calypso, St. Vincent music is going? Well, we have made a tremendous impact um, with thanks to, not only for St. Vincent and the Grenadines, but and for the wall of Calypso, thanks to Frankie McIntosh, I think he more than anyone else, although a lot of people try to dispute it, I think he more than anyone else has revolutionized Calypso, has, has, has brought the, the importance of arrangement to the music. Women was just back up. And to people in the early days, well, you know, Sparrow always had a dynamic arranger in, in, in Bochum, and it's one of the great of all times. We shouldn't discredit Bot Ennis. But in the modern times, Frankie has done with the Soka, the name of the word, the introductions of bass lines and stuff like that. I think that's the big revolution, and he was the first guy to introduce the bass line to Calypso. And from there, we haven't looked back, and with the influence of Zook and all the different things, with people more hip now utilizing the drum machine, the synthesizers, and the modern, the electronic technology. I think Calypso has gone a, a long way. All right. From the days of Hula Soul, Master Victoria, uh, talking about the Iron Woman, West Indian Woman. West Indian Iron. West Indian Iron, right? Now, in 1992, 
still Beckett, different style. You have something called You Would Find So on the new album, Going to Come. I would like to know more about the album and some of the songs. Well, The Word Fine So is um, a joint composition. Frankie did the melody. He did the title too, by the way. So when people talk about The Word Fine, it's really Frankie McIntosh idea. He's the one that airing his dirty linen in public. <laughs> <laughs> and then he gave me the difficult job of um, putting the, the lyrics, lyrics to the story. He gave me the story about The Word Fine So of, um, you know, infidelity and all that stuff. Those are the key words he gave me. And I, I put a song together. We have a nice... Um, Fantastic rap version with a guy from St. Vincent called Stonewash Daddy. A lot of people don't think he's from St. Vincent. And there's, he has an entire version by himself doing it to the, to the music. And, and that turned out to be great. The title track, we were supposed to go with another title, but the, the title song, I went back to New York because I had to break. I usually do all my writing in St. Vincent, but I had to go back to New York to do some shows. And I had to leave early, so I had to finish up the word fine, so, and another song. So I asked Frankie, you know, I don't like to roast up stuff. I tell him I'll have to go into the studio, you know, with the title track incomplete lyrically and I wouldn't want to do that. So if there's any song on the album that he think can take the title and he liked going to come. And I had a concept of I don't know if you in St. Vincent you'll see something, maybe it'd be nice if you could take a tape of that. Be something good to see the vans with the title all our vans of vehicles have names. The front of the passenger vans. But a lot of them have something in the back in the front and in the back they have something to relate to it. So I had the concept of go in and to come in the back either a van or a train and frankie decided that the train was a better thing errol doppel agreed and we have one of the great calypso jackets of all times they're going to come i don't know if you've seen it yet but no i haven't got the opportunity well, to see it. i guess by the time you hear this ben would have a shot of the jacket it's a fantastic piece the jacket itself errol doppel outdid himself this time beckett on location in st vincent talking to bob Fedrick on culture share we'll be back Right now on Culture Share, we'd like to say a special thank you to some people who made the trip to St. Vincent and the Grenadines possible for the covering of the 1992 Carnival celebrations, like St. Vincent and the Grenadines UN Ambassador, Kingsley Lane, together with the Minister of Education and Culture, John Horn, also Mr. and Mrs. Woods of Square Deal Shippers, and Ben and Maureen Ned for making the accommodation possible. Also, the uh, St. Vincent segment that you saw in the program was made possible through Star Agency in Grenada, and Mr. Loxley Williams has to be commended for his efforts, and also his efforts in ensuring that the travel arrangements went smoothly. Also, Senator Walker and Mr. McLeish of SVG TV, and Derek Ventu, who chaperoned the team quite admirably. We say once again, thank you very much. Don't forget to join us again next week for another great show, keeping in mind St. Vincent and the Grenadines Carnival 1992. Remember to keep that smile on your face, let peace be your guide, and give help to your neighbor. We leave you right now with more action from St. Vincent, shaking it down through Vincey style. Let's go.